Hey there, in this video, we are going to be deriving the two arithmetic progression formula, which is the TN formula and the SN formula. So let's get started. So the two formulas for arithmetic are, so you got the TN formula, TN equals to A plus N minus 1 times D. Okay, so that's the TN formula. And then you also have the SN formula. So SN formula, there are two. The first formula is N over 2 bracket 2a plus n minus 1 d and the second one is n over 2 bracket sorry not 2a is a plus l so what is l l we know that it is the final term okay so the tn uh, the last value okay so we are going to attempt to derive all three of these so let's start with the first one tn so Tn is quite straightforward. We start with the first term first. What is T1? When n is equals to 1, the first term is what? The first term is actually A. And then, do you have to plus anything? Actually, you don't have to plus any D value, right? So it's actually 0D. Okay, because we know that A... Uh, that's all. Okay, we can write like this. A, uh, yeah, plus A. And then when n is equals to 2, the second term would be A plus d and when n is equals to 3 the third term will be a plus d plus d so you can actually simplify this i mean not say simplify make it a pattern so there's a pattern here when the n is equals to 1 you a plus 0 d okay because there's no d there and when n is equals to 2 you get a plus 1 d and when n is equal to 3, you a plus 2d. So we are trying to see the relationship between the n value here as well as this value here. So it's always minus 1, correct? So because of that, we can form our equation. Tn will be equals to, um, I think I just write here, like, Tn is equals to a plus n minus 1 d. Okay, so this is the formula. Actually, there's really nothing much to derive for Tn. I just put here in case if question asks, at least you can just show it. Lah. Okay, you just, you're just just basically showing the pattern how you calculate for first term, second term, third term. And so if you want to find the, third, the, the Tn formula, you just take the n value, subtract 1. Okay, so that's what we are trying to show here. So Tn is quite straightforward, so I won't spend too much time explaining this the next one is the sn formula so sn is much more complicated so i need you to watch closely okay so we know the formula is wait we take the first formula first huh? n over 2 2a plus n minus 1 d okay so what is the sn formula we know that sn formula okay is um the sum of all the terms, correct? So it's actually the sum of term 1 plus term 2 plus term 3 and so on until the final term, Tn. Okay, so from here, you can actually form your, um, you can break this down further, okay? We break this down further. We get Sn is equals to, so first term will be A value. Second term will be A plus D. Okay, I'm just going to put a bracket here so that you can see properly. So, third term will be A plus 2D. Okay, and you're going to keep doing until the end, you will get A plus N minus 1 D. Okay, so you got the first, uh, what do you call this? Uh, first equation, yeah. The first equation I put here because I have no space there. So, this is the first equation. Now, I need you to do another equation. So what is the second equation? The second equation is going to be the same as this, okay? But the difference is, it's going to be from Tn all the way to T1, okay? So I'll show you what I mean. So the S, the second equation, uh, instead of starting from T1 plus T2 plus T3, I'm going to start from Tn and I go, descending order okay 
So Tn plus, now it's going to be another term smaller than Tn, right? So it's going to be Tn minus 1, then plus Tn minus 2. So it's becoming smaller, okay? Until you reach the first term, T1. Okay, so just in case you don't understand what I'm saying, the first equation here is in ascending order. The second equation here is in descending order. So I'm basically doing the same equation, but it's just that one is in terms of ascending order, one more is in terms of descending order. So let me expand this, okay, I'm going to expand it. So Sn is equals to, so the first uh, Tn formula is the same as this, so I'm going to use that. So A plus N minus 1 D, okay, so this is the first term, huh? followed by, now Tn minus 1, so N minus 1 is going to be a plus, okay, so what's going to happen here? So instead of n minus 1, now it's going to be n minus 1 minus 1, okay? Because now the n value is what? n minus 1. So we're going to, we're going to minus 1 twice, lah, okay? So in this case, you get n minus 2. D, okay? Then you got n minus 2. So n minus 2, so it's going to be the same thing. A plus, so instead of n minus 1, so it's going to be n minus 1, a n minus 2, then minus 1. So you get n minus 3 times d. And so on until you reach the first term. The first term we all know is a, right? So it's just that. So this is your second equation. Okay, if you don't know what I'm talking here, uh, you just leave a comment, okay? Then I will explain in the comment section. So I hope you guys understand what I'm saying here. So anyway, once you have gotten term 1 and term, uh, sorry, equation 1 and equation 2, what you're going to do is, you're going to add up the two equations. So the first equation, add right here, first equation, add the second equation. So what happens when you add is, oops, I don't have much space, Um, let me see. Okay, add right here. So first equation plus second equation. So what you will get is, so Sn plus Sn, so you get 2Sn, correct? So 2Sn um, equals to, so I'm going to show you what is going to happen. Huh? We, are good, we are just going to add this. The first bracket here with this one, the second bracket with the second bracket, third with the third, until the last one with the last one okay we're just going to do that so what is going to happen is the first equation will be 2a plus n minus 1 d okay so this is the first one because a plus a is 2a lah, okay next now i want you to pay attention huh? a and a is still going to be 2a right 2a now what is going to happen at the back here see ya huh? I show you what's going to happen. Huh? D, the this one is D, right? So D plus this one, n minus two D. So n minus two D is what you have to expand, right? So n D minus two D. Okay. So when you simplify this, you will get n D minus D. So if you factorize the D out, you will get n minus one D. Okay. So it's basically the same as the first one. If you notice. So you get plus n minus 1 d, right? Because it's the same thing, it's basically the same thing. So what you notice is, when you add up until the end, that means when you do for term 3, okay, you will still get the same thing. You will still get the same thing, okay? Because a plus a is the same as 2a, and then here you got 2d, um, plus, okay, we do together, 2d plus n minus 3, so it's nd minus 3d, okay, for this one, uh, I just expanded, 
So I get nd minus d because 2 minus 3 is negative d. Lah. So you see, we still get n minus 1d, right, when we factorize. So it's actually the same thing. 2a plus n minus 1d. And you will get the same until the end. Okay, you get the repeated thing until the end. So what's the point of this? What I'm what what is going to happen is because they are repeating. Now the question is how many times it's going to repeat? It's going to repeat n times, lah, Okay, because we don't know how many times it is. So since there are n times, so you are going to repeat the two a plus n minus one d. You're going to repeat it n times. Okay, so we can boil it down into a much simpler equation because we got n times, so we can actually just multiply by n. Correct? We just multiply by n. That means if n is equal to 10, that means that same equation, that same uh, 2a plus n minus 1d is going to repeat 10 times. If n is equal to 5, it's going to repeat 5 times. If n is equal to 20, it's going to repeat 20 times. So it depends what the n value is. So that's why I put n here. So now we can just shift the 2 across and we will get our equation n over 2 bracket 2a plus n minus 1 d. Okay, so that's how we get this equation. Okay, the sn formula. Now, there is one more formula which is the second sn formula. We know the second sn formula is what? Second sn formula is n over 2 a plus L. Now, how do we get this? Okay, you're going to do the same steps, okay, until here, until this part, until this part, okay. You can either do that until that part or you can just say we use this, lah. okay, same thing. So, what happens is, let's say you do until here. So, what is going to happen is, you are going to break the 2n. So when you break the 2n, it becomes sn equals to n over 2. So the 2a, right, is going to be a plus a plus n minus 1d. Why am I breaking this? Because you can see this part here is actually equals to tn, right? That's the tn formula, a plus n minus 1 times d. So that's the tn formula. So if you assume Tn is equals to L, so our equation will be Sn equals to N over 2 A plus L. So that's how we get the second formula. Okay, so so far, let me just recap what I know, I, I know is quite uh, confusing, but let me just recap what we just done. Okay, so the Tn, okay, I, I won't explain too much. The Tn is quite straightforward. The Sn formula. First, you need the t. Uh, sorry, the ascending order equation. Okay, so that means from t one all the way to t n. That's your first equation. The second equation is descending order. That means you're starting from t n, and then you go t n minus one, t n minus two, all the way until the first term, which is a lah t one. Okay, so with that two equation, you're gonna add them together to form uh, a new equation, the third one. So if you notice, after you add, you will get the same thing repeated again and again and again. Okay, the same thing repeated again and again and again. So how many times it repeats? It repeats n times. If n is equal to 5, then it's 5 times. If n is equal to 10, then it's 10 times. Since we don't know how many times, so we know it's n times. Okay, so that's when we get our this equation. Because we know it is n times. And then you just shift the 2 to the other side. You get your first Sn equation. Okay, this is the first formula. Okay. Now if they ask for the second formula, that means A plus L, which are this which is this. Okay. Then you just have to do one more extra step, which is to break the 2A. When you break the 2A, you get A plus A. So you can form the Tn formula here. And you get this answer okay we just assume that tn is equals to l okay l means the last term clear so i hope you find this useful if you don't understand what i'm saying here just 
leave a comment i'll try to explain in the comment section and yeah i hope you find this useful and see you on my next video take care bye bye